Hey guys, what's going on? It's Lefty from 643 Productions and the Darth Empire coming at you here with another Black Ops sniping gameplay commentary. And you you get a you get a double dose today. You get new map escalation gameplay. This is uh, this is on the uh, the escalation map pack map discovery or not discovery hotel. Why did I say discovery? I don't know. I don't know. Oh, that, that's why, because I was going to make a, uh, a reference to Discovery later. This is the new map. Hotel set on a, I believe, on a Cuban high-rise. Um, very reminiscent, I would say, of, uh, of the Modern Warfare 2 map high-rise. Uh, it, it, there's, a, there's a lot of similar aspects to it. Uh, a lot of similar construction and just in terms of how the map flows and, and all these things. And uh, it, But I'll get into that later. So you get the Escalation map pack play, and you also get the po post 1.08 sniping patch, or quote, sniping patch, uh, gameplay. So this is post 1.08 gameplay, and this is also Escalation map pack play. So I hope you guys enjoy. I am playing with a full squad. It's the best I could do on, on relatively short notice. And, uh, and I'm not going to harp on this for too long, I promise, but it's really hard... Um, for for the most part to get gameplays uh especially with the new maps everybody is or a lot of people are uh ghost silencer camping and i'm not going to rage about it i'm not going to go on i'm not going to rant about it but a lot of people are using it and it's and it's troublesome it's definitely troublesome um to work with from a standpoint of trying to get a gameplay because all it takes is one of them uh or one or two of them to to almost completely ruin uh, what you had going so it's hard but this is the best i could do with short on such short notice it's pretty good i would say in my estimation um that it's that it's uh, it's pretty good i mean it's it's not the best i've done better i'm not gonna lie but uh but i had fun playing this game and uh and it's pretty interesting i mean i think we get a pretty good spawn trap going here um without even really intending it again i mean this was the first day the map packs came out so nobody on my team i'm playing with ernie uh ernest lay i say lee or i just call him ernie um i believe jay brooks is on the team as well as uh mr steve schwint uh, so we're all playing together, and this is, the, you know, kind of an unintended uh, spawn trap. It's just kind of like, oh, wow, we have him spawn trapped. Okay. And uh, and this was just a really, really nice game uh, all, all around, and uh, and so I decided to post it. Now, onto the maps. I just recorded uh, episode or episodes three and four of uh, of Yeah, buddy. With uh, with Snipeinator, and we started talking about the maps, and and he started, you know, he was like, well, what do you like about the maps, and I, I have to say this, uh, you know, I've ha after having some time to think about that question, because he was the first person to really ask me, I was like, well, you know, I'm really happy with with what Treyarch did in terms of the s setting the tone for the maps, because I think one of the things that we saw with Black Ops uh, uh, at its release was that it was very bland. It was a very bland game, and I, in fact, did a commentary about it saying, well, Black Ops isn't necessarily boring, I think it's just bland, and and sometimes people confuse bland, being bland with being boring, and neither of them are good, but there's a distinct difference between being bland and boring, and I would say Black Ops, up until that point when I was doing the commentary, was more bland, uh, due in large part, I would say, to the, to the maps being very, very bland in terms of their color palette. I think... And I think what happened was is Treyarch saw that, and we saw a little bit of it uh, in in the First Strike DLC, which is why I mentioned Discovery earlier, why I slipped up and mentioned Discovery earlier, because we saw with Discovery that was a that was definitely an effort to infuse color into a map. I think I think there had to be a meeting at some point saying, you know, oh my God, there's no color in these maps. In these maps that we put out with the game, there's very little color. And it's and it's very monotonous and it's and it's not very interesting. And we saw a little bit of that in the first strike DLC, uh, the infusing of of color and uh, and vibrant contrast into the maps. And now we're seeing it. We're seeing even more of it uh, with Escalation. And, and Hotel is one of those maps. It's I, I I'm really happy with that and I'm and I'm really proud of what Treyarch did. Not only because they actually did it, but because they saw they they became self aware. They had to become self aware. They're like, you know what? This is a problem. Let's fix it. And and that's very very commendable. Of course, there are other maps. Um, Zoo is one. Zoo is a little bit more darker in tone, and it's weird. It's I don't want to sound like a like a you know like a struggling artist, but it's it's dark while still being colorful. And I know that's going to sound conflicting, but the Zoo is definitely meant to be more of a dark 
map in terms of in terms of just the the, the feel you get uh, when playing it. It's supposed to be more of a more of a darkish map. It's an, an abandoned zoo, um, and and you see, you know where where the these wild animals were kept and all these things. Um, so it's meant to be a darker map, but still, there is still color in it. There's a lot of greens, there's a lot of blues, there's even some orange. And and I think that's that's a definite, or that was a, a good balance struck by, by Treyarch. Now, the only map, again, uh, I would say Convoy, um, in, as far as color palette and, and ambiance goes... Is a is a little bit more bland, but still, the I would, for some reason, it it seems to me that the greens are greener, um, and and the blues are are more blue, than than in any of the other uh, launch day maps that came with the game. I just I don't know what they did, but it definitely looks bigger, even though it's not it's not a, a setting in which you would th that screams color or or needs or has a, a bunch of color, but it just looks different. It looks like it's colorful without being, you know, the entire, like, let's say, hotel. Uh, the only the only map that that goes back really to the old form or to the old way is Stockpile, and uh, and that has to be by far, for many reasons, my least favorite map. Um, it's it's once again it's a big circle. <laughs> um, Zoo is also a big circle, but this is a, a circular or Stockpile is also a circular map, centering around one big building. Um, it's very, very camper friendly, very camper friendly, and uh, and coupling that with with people not knowing the maps or little kids using not knowing the maps as an excuse to sit in a corner with Ghost and the Silencer, uh, it it can get pretty frustrating. So stockpile is one I would look out for. But again, hey, you know you gotta play you gotta play them yourself and uh, and decide for yourself what you enjoy and what you like. I guarantee you there's something for everybody in this map pack because I you know I was again skeptical going into this like I am every time, um, and and I have been pleasantly surprised overall by this map pack. I think it's a very generous offering. All right, now I got a few things I want to get to uh, here before before we go, and. Um, one thing I have to say is this map hotel. This was the map where they started. Oh, and there's a little Tony Montana desk uh, up there on the uh, on the A f A flag spawn. If you can if you can get up there, I'm pretty sure it's reminiscent uh, of the uh, of the desk Tony Montana had in Scarface in his office. Um, but this was the map where people started talking about the the elevators or Treyarch when when releasing the video say oh there's going to be elevators in this map and they're going to be you can control them and you'll control that side of the map they are useless like almost everything Treyarch has done uh with their maps where they say oh where you can interact with the environment and it could and it changes the landscape they're wrong because it doesn't they're bad they're useless and they're completely and utterly pointless other than to have a good laugh riding them up and down and camping your ass off, there's no tactical advantage to having them. None. None at all. Every every place you can access with the elevators, you can access someplace else, and it's usually not that far away. So there's really no point to the elevators being there other than for Treyarch to say, it's like, well, look at what we did. This is this goes back to Discovery and the, and the changing the ice paths or destroying them. It doesn't really change the map all that much because there's so many different ways around. It, it, these, are, these are superfluous things that Treyarch throws in there, and I don't know why, whether it's under the guise of, oh my god, look at what we're doing, look at all these reactive environments. It's like, well, you know what, Battlefield has been, been doing reactive environments for, for how long on console? But anyway, that's a different discussion entirely. I hope you enjoyed this. I got to get out of here. Uh, thank you for joining. By the way, be sure to follow me on Twitter. Just go to twitter.com uh, slash lefty643. Once again, that's twitter.com slash lefty643. That's where you can interact with me. Ask me questions. Please do so. I love being asked questions. I love interacting with you guys. And uh, and that's a great place to do it. Just go to twitter.com slash lefty643. Uh, also, be on the lookout for a few videos dropping on the Darth Empire. Again, I will post links. Uh, either in a bulletin on my Twitter or in the description of this video. But anyway, that's my time. I gotta go. Be sure to check out the map packs for yourself and decide for yourself. Also, let me know in the comments what you think of, of all of you that have played the map packs. Alright guys, I gotta get out of here. That's my time. Thank you for joining. I hope you enjoyed. I'm out.